good, Scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You guys know I got to do my Corey Holcomb grift. Uh, he's our pastor over here in Black YouTube. The brother's doing um, an amazing job on the 5150 show. And, uh, you know, I'm over here in Africa. So, you know, when I get a chance to watch it, man, I be in real, like, actual tears, man. That dude, Craig Smith, is funny as hell. Corey funny. And Darlene, she's just a perfect balance for the show. So, um, I really love the show, man. I don't know why I haven't... I, I, I didn't you know, get involved in it earlier. But anyways, make a long story short. Corey Holcomb has been talking about Christian comics. It's been a big thing on the channel. Christian comics, all right? Now, he's not really calling anybody by name. I think that, you know, um, he didn't mention Kev on stage just a little bit, but I don't think he has a personal issue with Kev on stage. In fact, I know he doesn't have a personal issue with Kev on stage. But I'd like to play um, this particular clip, and then I'm going to come back. The um, brothers who claim Christianity first in front of their comedy and don't display Christianity on a number of occasions. There was a, there was a clip where uh, the brother uh, Kev on stage was um, talking about um, the brother who passed. Teddy Ray? The, the brother who gave all the information to the ladies and they hate him for it. Oh, Kevin Sanders. Yeah, Sanders. and um, when he died, uh, there was a clip out uh, how um, it was sort of like a moment of nah. To some people. Mm. And he uses that in his standard? Well, I, I saw the brother, uh, I saw the brother Kev on stage talk about his living arrangements. Because, you know, um, I think Kevin Samuels wasn't living in no house and all like that. So a lot of people bring that up. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm talking about one person. Because sincerely, from the heart, I'm talking about everybody who put Christian comic in front of their you are on the scope with Corey Holcomb. Hell yeah, me too. Yeah. A church is just a room full of people all scared of the same <laughs> shit. Mean, the truth. How come I never been in church and seen nobody stand up and say, hey man, what the f you doing with all the money? <laughs> oh, dang it. Damn. It's that's dope. That's, that's the most basic question that you should be asking. But don't nobody ever ask it, man. Because if they want to, they can have a graph up of where the money is at all times. Mm -hmm. Right. But they don't do that. Yeah. So that's why it's a little. Eh. And why God always down. calling you about my problem? You do know he got everybody's number, right? <laughs> he even wrote a book about it. It's called Numbers. Melvin Thomas <laughs> gave some information about uh, masonry teaches the three principal tenets, which are brotherly love, relief, and truth. See, a lot of people don't know that. Hmm. Right. That's why I'm glad people are giving this information. Yeah, thank Because I don't know. know a lot about brotherly love. All I know is we're going to mix it up. And next thing you know, what's the name? Got to be for what's the name? That shit's so played out, man. I see through that shit. Like, when you watch the internet, most of the time, they be like, Jordan versus LeBron, who you got? I be like, I hate that goofy <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. I be like, God damn it, they both was good, brother. Or like if somebody says, who's your top five of anything or whatever, and then the moment that you don't say something in the right order that they maybe said it, yeah. then they start hating on you. Like, uh, oh, how can that be? It's like, oh, my God. That's just teach well, I, 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 That goes no? back to what I was saying, D. Po poverty brings misery. So you can't argue mm. with a motherfucker that ain't got shit about no. nothing. Mm -mm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because especially, I'm not talking about a young guy. A guy in his 20s, early 30s, yeah. who has nothing. I don't think it's nothing to be too embarrassed about yet. But when you fought it, still on ground zero, <laughs> come wrong. Come wrong. You been on this planet 40 years? You ain't found a lick? Get mm. it. Yeah. Get <laughs> your butt out of here. But yeah, to put that, yeah, just to put that, because it's, mm -hmm. it's out there. Like Corey was talking about Kev on stage. I ain't talking about Kev on stage. I, if I was going to talk about something, it was a lady in the room who was really rubbing it in about when um, when there was the passing of Kevin Samuels. He, a lot he, of ladies. He was, I sitting, he, was sitting on, he was sitting at a desk next to a lady who was really rubbing it in. 
Mm. I ain't gonna say her name. And don't tell me she called herself a Christian too. And was Man, these are that. these are self-proclaimed good people. Basically, what Corey's issue is, and it, I don't think it has nothing to do with the fact that he don't really believe in Christianity. It got more to do with it. These guys are not doing what they profess. They're supposed to be Christian comics, and we could always talk about the lack of talent that most of them probably have, right? But the reality is. Y'all are saying y'all are Christian and y'all ain't doing what y'all supposed to do. He brought up a good example. He didn't really come after Kev on stage on this. He talked about when Kevin died, the young lady in the room had all of this vitriol for somebody that passed away. Now, Kev on stage was there skinning and grinning, but now this man, Kevin Samuels, he dealt with the people that came on this show they wanted to come onto his show, all right? So it wasn't like he was forcing him to do that. That woman sat there and was, you know, let's say for example, if that was somebody in her family, she could have been very offended if somebody was talking to her like that, but that's supposed to be a self-professed Christian. And he's supposed to be a self-professed Christian. But then they're sitting there laughing about it. Now, at the same time, these are two individuals. He now begging to save her salary and her job on the podcast, if I'm not mistaken. Going to his audience, begging for money. Well, what does the book good say? What does the golden rule say? Do unto others as you will. What? Do unto you. Maybe they didn't even read that part. And this is the thing that, that that's going on. Like, I'm going to be honest also, and Corey didn't say this, I'm saying this, but I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. A lot of these Christian comics are simps. We're going to be real. People that's going to tell it to you like it is, Corey Holcomb, me, um, rest in peace, simple to pee, to read. You know, a lot of people that's just going to be really honest and you happen to have a female audience, it's because you just happen to have a female audience. But a lot of times when you're just not pandering to ladies a lot of these guys don't know how to make money if they're not pandering and a lot of these guys you'd be surprised will dog women in a heartbeat i'm telling you like look at Derek jackson he wasn't a christian dating coach but he's close enough to it right he looks the part he acts the part but behind scene behind the scenes the guy's a monster and a lot of times those dudes will do anything to prey on the women in the church and their content come out as cringe and a lot of guys listen to that like hold on bro like wait what are you talking about you sound like a thought bro like hold on bro like what are you what are you what are you saying what are you talking about like i listen to a lot of guys a lot of these christian podcasts comedy or not and I get the fact that, you know, you want to respect women and women deserve to be respected. But at what point are y'all Negroes just saying any goddamn thing that just don't make sense? Like even the kind of things these guys are describing how men should be in the church. And that's all it is. It's like, let me, cause look at Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson is not talented. We're going to be real. Derek Jackson don't have no production, but Derek Jackson just telling people what they want to hear. And the, the, the reason that a lot of these Christian comics is there, all of them are catered towards women, the whole industry, telling them what they want to hear. But then you can only do that for so long when you're not good, because even they want to hear the real stuff. Even they want to hear the real stuff because their life ain't progressing. Listen to your ass, Negro, you ain't progressing. That's why you begging for donations. Talking about he lost 70% of his po uh, podcast revenue like he lost his debit card at Walmart or something. Yeah, I lost 70% uh, of my... Now, if you don't shut your mother... <laughs> I, mean, I wish I could just really go in like I want to. My, 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 my mom listens to my stuff. I wish I could be as colorful as I used to be with my language until my mama started watching my YouTube channel. Because, Negro, I, if I was to ever see you, I would really tell you how I felt about what you're talking about. You lost 70% of your revenue like you lost your car keys, right? Because you're terrible. You're not real. You're not authentic. And a lot of you Christian comics, like when you want to be funny in comedy, you got to be authentic. Like it's some dudes on here, man. Like let's say like Corey, Tariq, Sinful to P. When he was on, man, Sinful to P would not even have his video thing on. He would just have like something in the room going on. You wouldn't see his face. You would just listen to him and bust out laughing. Corey the same way. Tariq the same way. I, I used to have the juice, but I lost it because I didn't got old or something. My, my mom need to stop watching my damn channel, man, so I could go ahead on and go in, man. I can give me some Hennessy and tell y'all how I really feel about y'all and what y'all doing over there in black America. I really let y'all, I would light y'all ass on fire on a live stream, but that's why I don't even go live no more like I used to. But the reality is people want to hear something that's unique, that's real, that's honest. We black people, we got on top of all that funny stuff. Sitting around doing all the little introduction, chilling, dancing. I'm gonna call it like, what is this? What is this? Hold on. This is dude Kev on stage. Hold on. Listen to this intro. And five, four, three, two, 
What up, y'all? Welcome to his thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She. The chick ain't dead. Yeah. 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 With the goddamn female co-host, bruh. Like, man, look, bruh, if my mama wasn't watching me, dog, I would drag you for like four hours, bruh. Like, no, like, no wonder why you're losing that money in podcast revenue. Cause you're simping. You a hater. You know, you're lacking T-A-L-E-N-T. And 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 you're a Christian comic, and we all know that the black church wants to, you know, tell these ladies every anything for money. So then once they don't get married. They just bask in whatever they're doing. Then they want to blame somebody else. What these women that's disgruntled in the black community need to be, be uh, blaming for their, their suffering? Blame the so-called Christians. Steve Steve Harvey, who Corey just can't get a, enough of roasting in the past. Let's blame um, all you pastors and Kev off stage. He need to be called Kev, get off the stage. Kev, don't come back to the stage. Kev, leave the stage. Kev left the stage dusty. How about all that? Don't that sound good? Art knows better acronyms than Kev on stage? How about Sims seats are empty? Kev on stage equals 70% of podcast revenue gone. I'm, I'm gonna be real, man. You know, Corey, he 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 kind of alluded to some of these things, but he knows that he knows this guy. He knows how, what, who, what people think about that, that guy. Nobody I've ever heard Chris or not Christian says, who good at comedy? Kev on stage. Who says that? Nobody says that. He couldn't even get a Tyler Perry movie. And you know Tyler Perry be simping for the women. Y'all just not being real. You know, these Christian comics and these, all the whole church, all of it. Pastors, deaconesses, look, y'all are, this is so much fraud in the game. And y'all don't want to tell these people the truth. That's why they messing up. That's why don't nobody want to deal with them. That's why you got folks moving to Africa away from y'all churches in America. I'm tired of y'all, I swear to God, and 20 white folk. I'm tired of y'all so much. And I, I, I was talking to my mom just the other day about how y'all ain't got no damn sense out there and how y'all out of control. I love you. May God keep you. But I'm going to be over here with the goats. You're going to see me in the Corey Holcomb show, uh, show uh, somewhere in the cotton field out here or whatever, or doing something, uh, grazing some chickens. I'm not going to come back and deal with y'all and y'all's foolishness. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I just can't. I thought about it, but no, you know, Y'all got sexy red out there. I I mean, no more power to the sister, but you know, I just I'm too old for all that. Let me stay over here with the, these potholes and the in and, and, and these goats and stuff like that and the power going out. I can deal with that. People got some sense here. But guys, what do you think it should well should do, Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Richie Farr, you just heard the bell. We're out. <laughs>